Daryl, and I don't believe there's any reasonable reading of this post that would lead someone to believe that it suggests the juror harbors substantial or material prejudice against the defendant. Thank you. I appreciate the additional record. Can I say something, Your Honor? Go ahead. Um, <coughs> just briefly skimming through it. I, I do want to state for the record that I have no involvement with this. I'm fairly, really like shocked like this even came to light. Um, I will say just by skimming through it, these are definitely things that have been talked about in the court. So we have to, I mean, common sense would say that this came from someone that has either been in the court to hear what goes on in the court or a, a jury member. There's, there's no other way. Well, actually, because the, the proceedings are live streamed worldwide, Your Honor, available on YouTube worldwide. So I don't agree with that assessment. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious that this would come from somebody who's actually. I think it's pretty clear. Well, I'm leaving it in the hands of law enforcement to do a full and complete investigation. Again, I take the integrity of this process incredibly seriously. And if there were to be a juror who violated the rules, I would take that very seriously. And I will not hesitate to take any action that I deem appropriate. At this time, it is simply being investigated. This was an anonymous post. And um, if either party believes any further action needs to take place as it relates to this particular jury, then I trust they'll file the appropriate request with the court. So with could, that, could uh, the courtroom, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Something else, Attorney Hopper? A different topic, Your Honor. Oh, sure, possible. go ahead. While we're all together, I just wanted to address exhibits and what the court's procedure would be. We have no objection to any exhibits going back to the jury room if they are asked for. Uh, and precluding the requirement that we all assemble every time a note comes out asking for one exhibit. Um, so as long as we're all here and we have some time, maybe we could discuss that. Well, I'm willing to discuss that. Do you have any position on that, sir? Yeah. Uh, I would object from the standpoint that uh, I would need to see any exhibit that's being asked, asked about and the relevancy of that exhibit being asked for. I think that's only fair. Exhibits that are that have been received, a relevance objection um, would no longer be valid because the court has already ruled on the relevance and the admission of the exhibits. The issue is whether it goes back to the jury room. I'll give you a for example. Um, sometimes in a trial there are medical records that need to be filed in their complete form under the statute, but really maybe only a portion of it would go back to the jury, or depending on why they were offered and whether there was any medical testimony regarding a diagnosis, for example, could impact that. Sometimes there's privacy issues with an exhibit, if there's a social security number for a witness or something like that. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, the exhibits have been received um, and uh, the jurors can ask to view photographs, written documents, they can even ask to view the videos. The videos would need to be done one of two ways, either which requires everyone to assemble because we do have the technology to play them directly to the jury room, uh, but that simultaneous with that is it would be played in here so everyone would be seeing what's being played in the jury room at the same time so that does require the parties to be in court uh, and that allows the jury to continue with their deliberations talk about what they're seeing etc so can so, the jury see in here now 
No, no, no. I'm talking about a video. We have the ability to play it directly. There's a TV. I, I should have said that. Probably not too. You, why would you know there's a TV in the jury room, right? So there's a TV monitor in the jury room that is connected to the technology in the courtroom. So whatever is playing here could be a still photograph, could be a document, could be a video. We can play in the jury room at the same time. Um, but as far as other exhibits, um, <coughs> so it would be only the exhibits that's been received. Received. So Correct. nothing new. Nothing's gonna come out of the blue and be like, oh yeah, we're gonna. Only what's been received during the trial. If it would be helpful, I can have Madam Clerk give you the printout of the exhibit list that shows everything that's been received. If you would like. That's about like seventy five hundred. <laughs> There's a lot of exhibits, but, a lot of exhibits. We, but I'm willing to have her print it off if you would like it. I, I think it'd be helpful just in case. I'm guessing at some point that will come into play. Right. For example, they may come back and say we'd like to see exhibit 15, which is the map, uh, the large map from of the parade row. Okay. Um, they might want to see the other map. Maybe they want to look at a video. Um, there's a lot of exhibits, so I'm not going to, I guess, speculate what they want. Um, sometimes they write notes to us and say we want, they literally list out all the exhibits that they want. Other times they'll say, can we have all the exhibits? So sometimes parties do stipulate. Um, that's what the state, I think, was trying to get at. Um, so do you have a position on that? If, if the jury requests an exhibit... <coughs> Do you want the court to rule on it individually, or do you agree that if they request an exhibit, it can be released to them? Uh, a rule on it. All right, fair enough. Anything else, Attorney Opper? Yes, we had discussed uh, yesterday, and I'm not trying to get too far ahead of myself here, but um, what was the time limit that the court wanted to uh, work off of for uh, giving notice to the parties when the verdict is available. 30 to 60 minutes. Okay. Thank you. So that will depend on when it is, if it's yep. late in the evening versus during the day. Um, and you might be wondering how late will I let them go tonight? Honestly, they've been at our schedule for three weeks. Yep. I will let them dictate how late they want to go tonight. Um, when they tell me that we're done for the evening, they'll come back in. I'll read them the instruction about uh, they obviously can't deliberate when they're not here, so I'll read through that instruction to them that you can't deliberate. Um, and they would go, again, where they are being sequestered, and then we would reassemble tomorrow morning if that's what is needed. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anything else from you, sir? Um, yeah, um, did you talk to the judge, the deputies? Or I did. Thank you for that reminder. Um, the jail has asked that I follow the standard operating procedure, which is to have you in central holding and not up at your cell. But if need be, I'm willing to <coughs> order that they give you a shower later, um, if that's helpful whether it be tonight or tomorrow morning, okay? So even though you're gonna stay close by, um, I'll make sure, I'll work with the jail to make sure that you're given that opportunity um, after we're done for the night, okay? Yeah, at least let them let me take a shower. So I've been told have there to. is a question that will be coming out shortly, so nope. don't go anywhere. Okay. Don't choke me, Judge. What? I said don't choke me. Choke you? Yeah, because I'm, you know what I'm about to say. What are you about to say? Subject matter jurisdiction? <laughs> <laughs> you knew I was about to say that. Sir, I'm not going to address it. I already have. All right. There are requests for three exhibit. Um, is that his number? I know he signed up, but I do. It's cold. I meant to tell them that. It's a signature. I need to know the uh, number to tell the parties who the fourth person is, because I'm not going to say the name on the record. Um, they have a request for three exhibits, 15, 
5 and 55. Uh, number 11 is the four person. You said 15, 5, and? 55. So I can pull. I was going to say, I don't know. I know 15. 15 is the map. 15 is the map, yeah. Any objection to the map, sir? It, yeah, I want, I want you to rule on everything. Well, I was going to go one by one. So I'll start with exhibit 15, which is the map. What's your position on that, sir? Um, my position is um, at this point, what is the relevancy of the map? I think it's been seen a million times. I know it by heart now. That's probably the only one I know by heart. Well, um, what's the state's position? Yes, we absolutely. There's no reason not to send that back there, Your Honor. There are 76 counts that they need to work through and to assist them in identifying which victim is which and which group they were with and where they were on the road. Absolutely, there's no reason to hide that from them. It's helpful to them in their deliberation. All right, I will uh, send Exhibit 15 back to the jury room. It is an exhibit. And there really is no reason not to send it back that has been identified by the parties. All right, the next exhibit is Exhibit 5. That is the photograph of Erica <coughs> Patterson. Oh, I definitely object to that, um, seeing as how uh, it was supposedly two incidents, one, one of which didn't even happen, <coughs> which uh, the prosecution sent paperwork to acknowledge that it never happened. So I don't even, uh, it's too dicey with that. What, what incident would, would five be referring to? One of which the never battery happened count. and then one I don't even know what I'm looking at if I look at five. What's the state's position on five? Again, Judge, there's no legal basis to exclude that from the jury. There's nothing prejudicial. It's a single photograph. I should say overly prejudicial. It's a single photograph of a single person showing the injuries that are alleged to be associated with count 77, it's directly relevant to their deliberations. There is no count 77. Count 76. 76. You are correct. It is count 76, not 77. See why I'm confused? Well, there is an amended information and I clearly instructed the jury in 76 counts. Be that as it may, um, I'll find that uh, it is proper for exhibit five to go back to the jury and that will be sent to them. Now, Exhibit 55 is a video. How long is that video? Uh, 15 seconds. So my uh, inclination, and I'll hear from the parties first, but and then I'll give you my inclination. So any objection to playing for the jury Exhibit 55? What exactly is in the Exhibit 55? I don't, I don't. It's a video from Curry Insurance facing eastbound showing the grannies being struck. We could put it up if you want to preview it, Your Honor. Go ahead. And we are requesting that it be viewed by the jury in their deliberation room. What I can tell you if I do allow it since I would have to ver we'll verify that the technology is working, um, and then I would play it for them twice through. And we would watch it at the same time as they're viewing it. Theirs would just be in the jury room. But I'll preview it for Mr. Brooks so he can see it first. Well, the state will preview it for me. response sir um, 
Yeah, I don't. I object to it. Uh, I guess my objection would be uh, will be hard. It would be hard to say why the jury would would uh, request it. I don't know, I'll just let you rule on it. I, I don't particularly. There's so many videos that's kind of like the same video anyway. Well, Exhibit 55 was received by the court. It's relevant to the uh, charges in this case and I will show it to the jury. I will uh, work with uh, Teresa and then the jury bailiff uh, to ensure that the technology is working when it's up and running. Um, I will play that for them uh, twice through. This is what I have proposed to write on the note back to the jury <laughs> as it relates to all three. Exhibits 15 and five are attached. Exhibit 55 will be played for the jury two times, hyphen the clip is 15 seconds. Um, and then I will initial that and date it. Any reason why it would need to be played twice? Um, and I just would note that the jury four person wrote yesterday's date. Um, it is the 25th. My date will be indicated. Obviously, they didn't get the case until today, so it's just a Scrivener's error on their part, putting the 24th versus the 25th. They don't have their technology with them, so I can't really fault them for that. All right. Any Madam reason Clark, why it could to be played twice? Um, that's my practice, at least on short video clips. Um, so what about, what, what about if they request for a long video? Then I'll make a determination then. I find that since we have the new technology, it's easier just to do that and play it twice than to bring them out and for them to say stop, and then can you go back, and can we watch it again, because that's my experience. So I'm really trying to avoid that. So we'll stay out here, um, and then we'll work to, uh, they'll have to pause their um, deliberations so we can interrupt them and give them the exhibits, and then uh, make sure the technology is working. So if the state wants to have that ready to go, I set for value and return for value these documents, Your Honor. Thank you. <coughs> do you have, um, you know how to do that, right? We've done it before. It's one by two. Is there um, audio with this or is it just video? It's just video. Okay, thank you.
You can turn it off and is it off? All right, the video was played twice. We'll wait and see if they have any other questions. Uh, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Uh, about this uh, Reddit, is that how you say it, Reddit? That's my understanding. Um, this particular person is who the email was sent from, the person at the top of the page? Do you have the email that has the 9:10 a.m.? That's my understanding. Yes. It, were they identified to have any connection with the trial in any way? I'm leaving the entire investigation in the hands of the sheriff's department. I'm not. I can't answer that. I'm sure they're looking into it though, because that's a good question. Yeah, they'll have to submit that. <coughs> All right, um, I'm going to step off. Obviously, the courtroom remains open. And we'll let you know if there are any additional questions. Procedures. Subject matter jurisdiction, Your Honor. I decline will to we, address that, sir. Will we be addressing it for the record? Um, I wouldn't go too far because that's not what it wants to be.
Mr. Brooks? Well, what's the significance of seeing it as different speeds? It, was that in the question? They just said, can we see exhibit 55 at 40% speed? Obviously, I don't recall specifically if this video was shown at a reduced speed, but many of the videos were shown at reduced speed during the trial that was allowed. I think it's proper to also show a video clip to the jurors if they request it at reduced speed. So I'll grant the request. What would be the significance? The significance is the jury's requesting it, sir. I'm saying at that speed. That's their request. I can't tell you the significance for them. I don't want to speculate, but I think it's proper given the technology that we have available and what was done during the trial. So I will allow it. <sighs> so why even ask me if I have a position? Because that's what I'm required to do, sir. But you're not required to address subject matter jurisdiction, which hasn't been proven for the record. You're not allowed to answer any questions that I ask. From your name, Mr. Brooks, I'm not going to relitigate name. your case right now. I mean, and I've made my decision on subject matter jurisdiction, so your request that I address it once again is denied. Of course, of course it's denied, of course, because you can't prove it on record. I mean, come on now. It has yet to be proven. It has to be proven at some point. Or do I got to go through the song and dance to get it proved? Jury's ready. Are we doing it once or twice, Judge? Just once. That's forty percent speed. The video clip is now ended. Would the state just confirm the speed at which it was just played? Yes, 40%, Your Honor. Thank you. All right, then you know if there's another question, the court's going to step off. Obviously, we'll remain open.
Um, at 747, uh, the four person um, provided a question through the bailiff. We request exhibits three and four. Exhibits three and four are videos. They are the videos from White Rock, I believe elementary school, door one and door two. Yes, correct. How long are each? Exhibit three is four minutes and 14 seconds. And exhibit four six minutes is six minutes and 58 seconds. Seven minutes. Okay. My inclination would be to play each one one time since they're a little bit longer and play them one after the other. From the state? Agreed. From the defense? Objection. Noted for the record. Any specific reason, sir? The uh, significance of both videos. Their evidence, sir? And the jury's requested to look at them. So. I will be playing them for them. We'll do exhibit three first and then exhibit four shortly thereafter. Will you be addressing subject matter jurisdiction on the record? Um, no, I will not. That is judicial determination, Your Honor. Can you say what started? I can't. Oh, you're asking me. <laughs> is that a tacit agreement, Your Honor? All right, they are ready. The arrow in the middle of it. Oh, we can get rid of that clear annotation. Is that a tacit agreement, Your Honor? Go ahead and play Exhibit 3 in its entirety. it to be stopped any objection from the state no from the defense no okay
Any objection to stopping that video? No. All right, Mr. Brooks. No. All right, it'll be stopped. Uh, Judge, for the record, this one was stopped at 1.38. Do you know what time we stopped it on Exhibit 3? 35 seconds, I think. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Think you might want to stay close by. Was that a good way to reach, reach the state? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure yeah. you did. But the jury would like to uh, be done for the evening and come back tomorrow. So I said uh, they should assemble. We'll get the alternates because they're still, they're sequestered. like to uh, break for the day. I need to um, basically tell them that because they're breaking for the day, they should not continue their deliberations while sequestered until they're back in the jury room. So I'll read a modified kind of version of instruction 50. Uh, we are in the record. So is your matter of jurisdiction? I decline to address that further, sir. Will it be proven for the record? Sir, my earlier decision, I stand behind it, my written decision. Your written decision that's not based in any law or fact? Hold on.
I think they're assembling the other the alternates. They're in a different place. So you have to get every. Yes, we do need them to get the instructions. Yes. I thought it was two people that got excused from the jury. Three. There were 15. No, I'm saying I thought it was two from the 16. No, only one. Well, you did say two. You said one had got excused before, and then another one was getting excused. No, I only excused one. We've had 15 since the first juror was excused. So what happened to that second one that had the COVID scare? What happened with that? Mr. Brooks, I addressed all of that on the record. I'm not rehashing that now. No need to get in your feelings. It's been a long day. I'm tired too. I would agree. But I'm not, I just letting you know I'm not going to rehash that stuff. I, I was just, uh, I just thought you said two. You said two on the record. Thank you everyone, please be seated. The record to reflect, I have the 12 jurors who have been deliberating plus the three alternates <coughs> who were sequestered in a different uh, jury room. Um, I wanna give you kind of a modified uh, instruction from the one that you've heard many, many times throughout this trial. Of course, for the 12 who have already started to deliberate, uh, do not deliberate unless you're in the jury deliberation room. Um, and that will mean from when you are discharged here tonight until you come back tomorrow in the jury deliberation room. Do not discuss this case among yourselves or with anyone else until you are deliberating in the jury room. This order is not limited to face-to-face -to -face conversations. It also extends to all forms of electronic communications. Do not use any electronic devices such as a mobile phone or computer text or instant messaging or social networking sites to send or receive any information about this case or your experience as a juror. I realize you are sequestered. We've taken away all of those things, but I'm just gonna keep reading through this. If you come in contact with the party's lawyers, interpreters, or witnesses, do not speak with them. For their part, the party's lawyers, interpreters, and witnesses will not contact or speak with the jurors. Do not listen to any conversation about this case. Do not research any information that you personally think might be helpful to you in understanding the issues presented. Do not investigate this case on your own or visit the scene, either in person or by any electronic means. Do not read any newspaper reports or listen to any news reports on radio, television, over the internet, or any other electronic application or tool about this trial. Do not consult dictionaries, computers, electronic applications, social media, the internet, or other reference materials for additional information. Do not seek information regarding the public records of any party or witness in this case. Any information you obtain outside the courtroom could be misleading, inaccurate, or incomplete. Relying on this information is unfair because the parties would not have the opportunity to refute, explain, or correct it. Do not communicate with anyone about this trial or your experience as a juror while you are serving on this jury. Do not use a computer, cell phone, or other electronic device 
including personal wearable electronics applications or tools with communication capabilities to share any information about this case. For example, do not communicate by telephone, blog post, email, text message, instant message, social media post, or in any other way on or off the computer. Do not permit anyone to communicate with you about this matter, either in person, electronically, or by any other means. If anyone does so, despite your telling them not to, you should report that to me. I know you're not going home. You're going to uh, another location, but do not discuss this case among yourselves with any other juror until you are back in the jury deliberation room tomorrow. This case must be decided by you, the jurors, based on the evidence presented in the courtroom. People not serving on this jury have not heard the evidence, and it is improper for them to influence your deliberations and decision in this case. After this trial is completed, you are free to communicate with anyone in any manner. These rules are intended to assure that jurors remain impartial throughout the trial. If any juror has reason to believe that another juror has violated these rules, you should report that to me. If jurors do not comply with these rules, it could result uh, in a new trial involving additional time and significant expense to the parties and the taxpayers. You are to decide the case solely on the evidence offered and received at trial. With that, you are all excused for the evening. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. All rise for the jury. All right, thank you everyone. We are in recess. We'll see everyone tomorrow morning at 8.30, um, 8.30 a.m. I trust that uh, the jail will give you a shower, so whether that's tonight or tomorrow morning before you come back to court. Yes. But I will order that. In the morning, yes, 8.30? 8.30. I'm not giving the He's got to be such a nice, I think. That's when we start court every morning, sir. No, it has to be.